Last time on Dark Souls Deathless. With the dragon's end, the door to the kiln is open. Now our hero must face Gwyn. But what sunlight. has become of this once great Lord of Sunlight? Find out today on Dark Souls Deathless. It's time to finish this challenge run off with the Lord of Cinder themselves. Hopefully we will be able to summon Solaire for this battle. But I'm not sure. I'm worried that I've messed up Solaire's quest line. It's a bit unclear so I'm being hopeful. Oh you can still get me. Well I'm already wasting my Estus I guess. That worked out well. I'll try to use more of Chaos Whip for a while. Might as well. Let's see how much damage I can do to these knights. They can block it very well. But two hits is enough to kill them so long as they don't block. I don't think I'll risk it much more than that though. So for the one on the edge. I'm going to use great magic weapon. I need the damage. I wouldn't normally do this but I can't dodge and the scythe has range. So long as I can get the distance right. Just going for the shield all the way I guess. They did what I was trying to do. We broke them. Neat. And our spell ran out. Not so neat. I don't remember where you summon Solaire. I know it's somewhere down the stairs. But I should double check just to be safe. I don't want to miss Solaire if I can get them since that will make this so much easier. That was quite the jump. Easy. I'm getting all the items today. And we are here. And there's no solar. I'm just going to double check. Make sure I'm not just being stupid or something. Okay. So I double checked and... Solaire is supposed to spawn at the top of the stairs. So it looks like I have to kill the centipede demon to get them. Which I'm not going to do that. It's basically suicide in a deathless run. 
I'll just have to hope this is enough. So long as we can avoid being combo we should be able to win this. I thought I dodged that. I think this is the thing I used last time to avoid the attacks. Isn't it? Oh no. I really need to heal. Phew. Good. The magic weapon ran out. Just avoid most of the attacks and you'll mostly be fine. Just got to find the right times to attack. I am being very cautious, because I can't die. So no learning the attack patterns. How did that catch me? If I get hit once I'm dead right now. And they are at half health. Which is about the only good thing about this right now. Good chance to heal. And then gets combo because... Well... Those thrusting attacks are overpowered. They just home on you. So you can't dodge around them. How did I not take damage there? Game is throwing me a bone. Come on. Yes. I got them trapped. I got really lucky today, huh? I managed to get the knight trapped. And now the boss. Obviously we are not going to like that. Because that ending is with us killing ourselves. And we are not dying. We haven't died. By the way, I was using the Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring. I was debating this for a while. Obviously don't want Silver Ring. 
it was a match between Chloranthi Ring for the stamina boost. But I was thinking my stamina is fine with just the shield. Flame Ring because they do fire damage. But I'm pretty sure most of the damage is physical and it wouldn't have changed much. So I went yeah let's do more damage with my spells. So yeah that's it. It's all over. Challenge completed. I managed to do it deathless. I got lucky at some points. And the only death was Seath which doesn't count since it's required to make progress. Yeah. We are here to serve your highness. 